Hi lovies, to get started I did my brows off camera and I will link my brow routine down below for you. Then I'm going in with my Milani eyeshadow primer and priming both eyes and then setting that with a translucent powder. Then going in to our Huda Rose Gold Remastered palette and taking Risqué which is like a plummy purple. I'm just going to be popping this basically in the crease, above the crease, everywhere and creating a very sharp corner and flicking this way far out and basically building this up until I'm happy with the opacity and it honestly took a long time. Don't worry if it looks messy because we're going to be cutting this with concealer anyways. And then I'm going in with black truffle and a pencil brush and packing this right on the outer corner and then going in and blending again with that plum color and basically again building this up until I'm happy with the opacity. I wanted it to be pretty dark and I basically just go back and forth with the black and risque until I'm happy with the blend. Then I'm going to be taking my Too Faced glitter glue and basically packing this all over the lid and then I'm going in with my NYX glitter in bronze and this glitter is seriously stunning in person. The camera does not do it justice and I pack this over the glitter glue. Then moving on to the face, I'm going in with my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation in my Farcelli, whatever how you say it, rose gold liquid and I do mix the two together and apply this all over my face. I do plan on doing an updated face routine for you guys once Halloween is over and we go back to our regular, regularly scheduled videos. <laughs> Going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, I'm applying this in a triangle underneath my eye and I also use the wand to clean up that messy line and really sharpen it. And then I also apply this to the bridge of my nose, center of my forehead, and my chin. Then going in with my Too Faced Peach Perfect Translucent Powder, I am just setting my under eyes with this right after I blend them and then I go ahead and set the rest of the face as well. For contouring, I'm using my NYX Contour Palette and basically contouring my cheekbones very heavily, my temples, my forehead, and my jawline. And like I said, I will be going more in depth when I do my full face routine video soon. And I also uh, contour my nose very heavily as well. For blush, I'm using my e.l.f. blush kit in dark and taking that bottom right really like deep plum color and applying this to my cheeks. And then for highlight, I'm going in with my Wet n Wild highlight and Precious Petals. Do not sleep on this highlight. It is bomb for how cheap it is. And applying that um, to the cheekbones, uh, above the eyebrow, nose, Cupid's bow, and chin. And I also put a little bit of this in the inner corners as well. finish off the eyes, I'm going in with my IT Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Anti-Aging Gel Eyeliner and applying this to my waterline and then I sit out with the black in the palette again and I also run Risqué underneath that black as well to blend it out even more. I'm taking that Too Faced Glitter Glue again and I'm basically going to make a long triangle underneath my eye. If you need more of a guide to do this, you can always use like a taupey light brown eyeshadow and then it'll the glitter will cover it right up. Um, so I just made these triangles underneath my eye and then I go in with that same bronze glitter from NYX and I pack this on as well. <laughs> with a small 
pencil brush and that black shadow again and I kind of outline the triangle and this is just to give it some shadow and dimension. I'm going in with Risque again and a fluffy brush and also blending this out just to give us a little bit more pink on the face and I think it really helps with the glow as well. Then taking that IT Cosmetics eyeliner again, I'm just going to be drawing a moon shape on the center of my forehead, following it by two stars. Like again, if you're not comfortable with doing this with black eyeliner, I highly suggest doing it with shadow first and then going over it again. And the stars, I just kind of sloppily created. This doesn't need to be perfect um, because the glitter is going to cover it up anyways. And then going in with that glitter glue and filling in the moon and stars and then just packing some glitter where I put the glue. Then repeating the same process that we did with the triangles, I'm just taking some of that risque color again and blending that out. This also blends the eyeliner out so I didn't go in with black, but you totally can. I think I did later actually. And then just doing this to the moon and both the stars. On to lips, I'm using my Huda Beauty Lip Liner in Trophy Wife and just overlining my lips and I'm also kind of accentuating the corners of my mouth as well. Then to top that off, I'm just going in with my ColourPop Liquid Lipstick in Rouge. Going back in the palette, I'm taking that black color again and drawing the corners out even farther and taking a little bit of risque and blending that in as well. And for the headscarf, I used just a scarf that I had and I folded it in half and wrapped it around my head and then just tying it in the back to secure it. And then I just put on a bunch of random rings I had um, just for the look because I wanted this look to have a lot of jewelry. And for the fake tattoos, I'm just taking a pen and some Ben Nye Neutral Set and drawing some random shapes on my fingers. And then I just go ahead and immediately set that with the setting powder. And it should last you throughout the night. It did last me throughout the night. Now I didn't like go wash my hands every five seconds because it'll come off easier, obviously. But yeah, that is the entire tutorial. I really hope you guys liked it. If you did, please subscribe and like this video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, loves.